What is up guys, this is the Sean Luxway Masters with a top 10. But this time it'll be top my top 10 favorite Pokemon for all the years from 1985. 1985 to now 2016. Pokemon games have been throughout good. For example, it's red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, ruby, sapphire, emerald, diamond, pearl, platinum, heart gold, soul silver, black to white to black white, omega ruby, and alpha sapphire, and also an X and Y. So without further ado, let's give it out for this top 10 Pokemon list. Alright guys, just hang on a sec cause this might take a while. You know, for me to find... Here we go. Alright, now let's get on with the list. Now number 10 on this list is none other than Gondor. Gondor is a psychic type, and it's a very powerful one too. Now, Garnivore, I don't know, running in, is a very calm nature. Its special its stats, special defense is very high, attack power very low, speed is good, special attack is very high, just like its special defense. Its defense is very low, but its attack power is way lower than that. But Garnivore is a calm Pokemon. It is it's the evolution line when it evolves, evolves into Curly uh, level 20 and it evolves into Cur Garnivore level 30. So now you guys know about that. And now, but also, Garnivore on the other hand has a mega evolution. It looks like a princess. It has the hidden ability called Pixelate. Meaning, when all, when Garnivore uses a normal type move, like Hyper Voice, Giga Impact, Hyper Beam, whatever normal type you use on Garnivore, it becomes a Fairy type move. And Fairy types are very super effective on Dark, uh, Dragon, and that's it basically. But Garnivore has very a little bit of weaknesses now that it's a Psychic Fairy. This fairy type was added when X and Y came out. Garnivore is weak against Ghost, Poison, and Steel. Because fairy types are weak against Poison and Steel. And that's why Garnivore is on number 10 on this list. You were surprised, right? Well, my favorite Eevee Illusions, to be honest, I like Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon. But there is a mystery. Do we have a number of evolution for Eevee? But when X and Y came out, who do we have? Sylveon. Sylveon is a very powerful Pokemon. It has the, well, I forgot what its ability is, but Sylveon is a very powerful one. It can use Moonblast, it can use Drain and Kiss, it can use anything. And that's why it's Sylveon on the other hand, but its special attack is way high, speed very low, attack a little bit good, defense good, special defense a little bit low. So that is why Sylveon is on this on number 9 list. Now give me a sec for the next music, please.
All right, guys, number eight on the list is none other than, well, Red's favorite Red starter throughout the journey, Charizard. Now, why did I pick Charizard on this list? Well, ever since I saw Pokemon Origins, right, Red's Red decided to pick Charmander because, well, you know the story. His father gave him the name Red, and ever since, Red has been tra training with Charmander ever since. Red doesn't know about the type disadvantage or anything like that until he found out he's been with training with Charmander, evolving the Charmeleon at level 16, and then evolving the Charizard at level 36. Charizard is a fire flying type. It's a very powerful one. Throughout the anime, like in the Kanto, when Ash had Charizard, it disobeyed Ash's orders. And it cost Ash's chance to be win in the Pokemon Kanto League, called the Indigo Plateau. Because Charizard disobeyed Ash's commands. But Charizard has two Mega Evolutions. One, they finally put it. Everybody's been asking that Charizard would be a Fire Dragon. Mega Charizard X. There's two types. One, Mega Charizard X. And two, Mega Charizard Y. Let's talk about Mega Charizard X. Mega Charizard X has the ability Tough Claws, like when it uses Dragon Claw, Slash, whatever. It gets very powerful. But now, for Mega Charizard Y, however, its ability is Drought, which powers up fire type moves when, it, when the sun is in. And when a grass type Pokemon can use Solar Beam, it is active as well. And that is why Charizard is on this list. Then, Zekrom. Zekrom is a legendary Pokemon Dragon Electric. A very powerful one. Now, most of the people like to play Pokemon Black because they like Reshiram. And then some of them play Pokemon White because they like Zekrom. I choose either Reshiram or Zekrom. But when I saw Zekrom's sprite, and I watched the movie po Pokemon Black and White about Victini and Zekrom. Zekrom's animation was so amazing and much better than them. Man, much better than Rush Rams. Zekrom has, gets a hidden ability called Fusion Bolt, which powers, powers it up and hits it up home in a very hard until they knock out. And there's another move is Bolt Strike. Very powerful electric type moves that can knock out water type moves and flying type moves out of here. And also, like if you play Pokemon Black 2, you will see N has Zekrom. And if you play Pokemon White 2, N sees, but you, see, you will see N with his Reshiram. And that is why, my friends, that Zekrom is number 7 on this list. Alright, number 6 on this list is Lucario. Now Lucario on the other hand is a very strong Pokemon. It's a fighting steel type. Now Lucario is very fast. Its attack power is so powerful. Its most powerful move is Aura Sphere. Now, Lucario has a Mega Evolution as well. 
Lucario? It has, but it's very powerful. It sends people's auras to see if it's good or bad. Now, if you've seen a movie called... What is it called? Oh yeah, about... Uh, Lucario and the mystery of Mew. Lucario wants to see his master, which happens to be Riley. Now, that was very shocking. When I saw the ending of that movie, of Lucario and the Mystery of You, Riley's master sacrificed himself when he was touched by that crystal. Riley's master was trying to search out my mysteries about Mew. It was so sad. And what happens next? Lucario was the next one to go. It was so sad to see Lucario go. And don't worry, but in Pokemon X and Y, you can ha you can use Mega Ch Mega Lucario against Karina's Mega Lucario, so you can test out Mega Evolution for the first time. Meg Lucario is an amazing Pokemon. That's why it has a lot of good moves. Like for, for example, you can learn Dragon Pulse, learn Zora Sphere, Extreme Speed, Me First, Close Combat. Any type of fighting type move. Even a steel type like Flash Cannon, Bullet Punch, anything. It learns Poison Jab as well. And that is why Lucario is number 6 on this list. Cynthia's Garchomp is so dangerous, but if you use your um, t strategy carefully against Cynthia's Garchomp, you will defeat her Garchomp in no time. When I fought with Cynthia's Garchomp, it was a pain in the neck. But thanks to Glaceon, knocked it out with Ice Beam, and boom, when I played Pokemon Platinum. But still, Mega. But that Garchomp is so amazing. I can't tell you how much Garchomp it is. Gets Dragon Claw, gets Earthquake, gets any move possible. But when, but when they released the Mega Garchomp, Mega Garchomp is so. Ooh, it's so bad as when you look at it. And that is why Garchomp is on number. Uh, what number is he? Oh yeah, number 5 on the list. So now, who's number 4? Number 4 on this list is Weavile. Like, like when I explained about Lucario being fast, Weavile is fast as well. It's an Ice Star type. It is the evolved form of Sneasel, but only if you give it a Razor Claw during night time. That's when you will level up to become a Weavile. Weavile, on the other hand, it isn't put in it. Weavile has been accepted in a Poké Tournament, but it did not get a Mega Evolution when you use Burst Attack. Weavile has an amazing moves: Ice Beam, Metal Claw, Night Slash. Hey, Weavile is so fast. Using Ice Beam, Night Slash, Metal Claw, Icicle Crash. Man, Slash. They can use anything. I'm telling you. And that is why Weavile is number four on this list.
I'll be back in a few seconds. Oh yeah, just so you know, you guys know. You like my Pikachu shirt? Looks pretty awesome, right? You may have seen that from my, my review. But anyway, Bulbasaur. For some reason, people don't know why, what's what's weird about its bulb on its back. But Bulbasaur is a very powerful grass and poison type Pokemon. It evolves an Ivysaur at level 16 and then the Venusaur at level 32. And now we got Mega Venusaur. Finally at last. Mega Venusaur's hidden ability is called Thick Fat. Meaning fire and ice type moves won't work a lot on Venusaur. It can learn Solar Beam, it can learn Pedal Dance, Sludge Bomb, Venom Shock, Pedal Blizzard. Hell, any kind of move that you want to teach Venusaur. Well, some moves won't work on Venusaur, like Ice, Fire, and whatever. But it can learn Earthquake to take care of the fire types. Still, I love Venusaur, and this is why I got a Bulbasaur plush. Even though Bulbasaur it was cool in the anime when Ash had him, during through the Kanto, Johto, hell, whenever Ash needs his Bulbasaur, he needs him. So, that is why Venusaur is number 3 on this list. We got two more to go. I mean, look at it! It's a Bubble Frog Pokemon. Froki involves the Frogadier at level 16, and it goes into Greninja at level 36. A Water Dark type. Greninja, it may look like it is a Frog Pokemon, but it's a Frog Ninja. Go into stealth mode anytime it disappears. It can warn Water Shuriken, Nice Slash, Hydro Pump. Extra sensory, but its hidden ability, Protean, it can learn any type of move you can give it to Greninja, but not fire types, because you know. Like, say, if you go into psychic move, it'll change its typing into psychic. If it changes its type to, let's say, dark, it'll be dark. And if, it's, if you change it to water, just the water. Greninja is so badass, that's why Greninja was accepted as Super Smash Brothers, you know, on the Wii U, and 3DS as well. And, but here's the shocking thing about Greninja. When Ash had a Greninja, unfortunately, there is a mystery. Could it be a Mega Evolution when Ash and his Greninja bonded? When, when, Ash, when Ash's Greninja became Ash Greninja? Could it be a Mega Evolution, or is it just a bond? We may never know. But now, now that number, now 10 to 2 is done, what can my top, what is my, my number one favorite Pokemon of all time? Well, we're gonna have to find that out. Let's take a break. Now, number one on this list is none other than... I'm trying to do drum roll. But anyways, number one on this list is none other than... Well, you know my YouTube channel, right? Sean and the Luxway Masters? Nine, my number one favorite is none other than Luxray. 
Why do I like Luxray so much? I'll tell you why. Luxray is the awesome Pokemon I have ever seen in Gen 4. Oh my god. Luxray can learn any type of move. Like, Thunder, it can learn either a lot of electric type moves. Like Spark, Thunder Fang, Thunderbolt, Thunder. It can learn Crunch. It can learn Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Iron Tail. In point of fact, ooh, it can learn mostly a lot of electric terrain. Oh my god, how much can I do more about Lux? My favorite Pokemon, Luxray. The Luxray, what does it look like to you, Luxray? A lion? Or some kind of, some kind of lion? An animal? Who knows? The Luxray to me, it's called, it's the Flash Pokemon. Now, Luxray stats, however, off the charts. The special defense is very high. Special attack a little bit down. Attack, good. Defense, good. Speed, however, is a little bit down. Because Luxray is not the fastest. I do like the its ability rivalry, but I don't like that much. But I like the ability to intimidate, so Luxray can scare its opponents with intimidate. Like, let's say Luxray versus Pyro. I like that. Luxray is so awesome. That's why I used them in Pokemon Platinum. Like, when I started Pokemon Platinum, I picked my starter, which is a Chimchar. And you know that I was trying to find a Pokemon, not a Starly, not a Bidoof, not a Cricketon. But what do I find? I found a Shanks, a male Shanks. And what ability does it have? It wasn't rivalry. I was like, why isn't my Chinchar going blue unless it was Intimidate? And that's why I wanted Sh I wanted Shanks to be on my team. Shanks evolves into Luxia at level 20, and then Luxia evolves into Luxray at level 30. It's so bad as you can hear Luxray's cry. Like, really. This is why Luxray is so bad. And also. Before I get to my thanks for joining my video part, I'm gonna put some. later on so please enjoy and please smash that su subscribe button to help my channel to support and also smash that like button just like the king yappy says please go to his channel his channel is awesome and that's what got him into for me into liking pokemon the king nappy if you're hearing this you're saying but gengar is the best I know Gengar is the best. I love Gengar too. I no wonder you use Gengar in many games f throughout your you know your let's plays. I love Gengar. That's your mascot. PK is his Inferno. The Heated Moes. S I think it's Espion. JYT Gamer. I don't know what his is. Num Nexus. I know his. Is a Zoomeril. David is which call it <laughs> a slow king, please. A Drive's favorite Pokemon is a shiny Mothum. And of course you know me, my favorite Pokemon of all time, Luxray. So with that, Nappy and Nappy, if you you and your buddies are listening, please enjoy my video. It will really support my channel. So thank you, and with that, I am...